I love inspecting bee colonies. And, and I remember um, writing an article not so long ago about the things that I look for when I go into colonies. What am I looking for when I inspect a hive? So I always tend to stand oh, um, on the side of the hive where the entrance of the hive is facing my left. That's just kind of where I, I start. And of course, I'll smoke the entrance. I'll crack the lid and smoke up under the lid. But what I'm looking for when I go into those hives is I'm looking for a, a colony of bees that's behaving as well as the other colonies that I have in my apiary. So, you know, there may be times of year that I'm not looking for colonies to be abnormally strong, as an example. Perhaps in October, I'm not really looking for a strong colony, I'm just looking for a stable colony. Or maybe in November or December or January, I'm not looking for a robust colony, I'm just looking for a stable one. And so it helps to have multiple colonies so that I know what should be happening. So I've got this in my mind, what I should see when I go into that hive during the inspection. So if I'm in the spring uh, or, or early summer months, I should see a colony that's growing and robust. So in those months, if I crack the lid, I expect to see bees covering all the frames of the uppermost box. You know, literally my colonies are strong and happy when the bees are boiling over the edges of the frames. And unless I have a reason to, I don't usually inspect the honey supers. You can inspect them simply by the weight. You pull those things off and if they're big and heavy, you know the bees have adequate food resources. Really most of my inspections occur in the brood nest. And the first thing I look for in the brood nest when I'm down in that bottom most box is I look for the presence of eggs or young larvae. When I was new to beekeeping, 30 years ago, I was really interested in seeing the queen, but I no longer have to do that because I know if I see eggs or young larvae that I've had a queen in that colony, you know, within the past three to five days. So I'm looking for eggs and young larvae. In addition, I'm looking for ample amounts of pollen to support the brood that's in there. And again, as a beekeeper, you have to know what you should be seeing. If it's, you know, March, April, May, June, I should see lots of pollen and a lot of brood. So I would be looking in those months, not only for eggs and young larvae, but I'd looking, be looking for solid brood patterns, frames of cap brood, larvae or developing pupae in most of those brood cells. I'd be looking for a band of pollen right above the brood. I'd be looking for honey in the uppermost corners of those frames. But if I were looking in my colonies in July and August, I might be seeing and anticipating shrinking brood patterns but still solid. So when I say solid, I simply mean that there aren't many empty cells in the brood area. The queen is laying a regular pattern and there are not many missed cells. And so as I go into the summer months, I'm really looking for slightly contracting brood patterns, maybe a little bit less pollen, but still ample honey stores. By the time fall rolls around, I don't usually see much brood. I'm seeing significantly less, very contracted brood patterns. I'm seeing lots of honey stores, right? Because as you're going into fall, as you're going into winter, you want to make sure the colony has enough resources in order to survive the oncoming winter. Throughout the entire year, no matter when I inspect my colonies, I'm wanting to make sure that diseases and pests are under control. When I pop the lid, do I see small high beetles scurry everywhere? When I'm in the brood nest, do I see adult bees with crinkled wings? Can I see Varroa on the bees? When I'm looking at that frame and inspecting the brood pattern, do I see sunken cappings, a perforated cappings, cappings that have holes in them? When I look at the brood, am I seeing pearly, white, and glistening brood? Or am I starting to see some brood that's twisted or miscolored? All of these things are things that I'm looking for when I'm inspecting a colony. And I've got this kind of mental checklist. Enough honey? Check. Enough bees? Check. Do I see evidence of the queen? Check. Is her pattern good? Check. Is it reasonably sized based on the time of year? Check. What about small high beetles and varroa? What about evidence of brood diseases? Check. And once I've done those things, and it can take me only about five minutes, then I close that colony up and, and trust the inspection results that I was able to see while I was working it.